I'm so ancient. No matter the location, from O A K L A to L V, I'm a Raider. Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Board. We have some breaking news. The Las Vegas Raiders have traded for linebacker Raekwon McMillan of the Miami Dolphins. So to get this trade to go down, the Raiders, they send a 2021 fourth round pick and in return get a linebacker who is entering his fourth year, has only played two years because of 2017, battled some injuries. But overall, this is an absolute steal in my opinion, for a linebacker who, sure, he does struggle in coverage here and there, but overall, a pretty solid run stopper. And when you look at it, he is entering his fourth year in the NFL, but has only played in three. He did finish last season on the IR with a hamstring injury. But for this Raiders team to be able to go out and get McMillan, a player that, coming out of Ohio State, did have a lot of talent, last season had 72 tackles he is only 24 years old. He is really going to be able to add a lot more depth to this team. You also put him with complimentary to a player like Corey Littleton. You also put him with somebody like a Nick Wachowski. Now the details on how much the Raiders are going to pay McMillan, that hasn't totally come out yet. But overall, this is, I think, a very, very strong move for this Raiders team. Now, for the Dolphins, on the other hand, I'm actually pretty surprised. They lost the linebacker Vic Beagle to the entire year with an Achilles injury. Also, the other linebacker that McMillan has been kind of battling it out with, Jerome Baker, he's also been struggling with some injuries during camp. But for the Raiders, you're getting a young player with a lot of talent and a player that sure he has a specific skill set in being able to stop the run. And does he need to get better in coverage? Yes, absolutely. But as you can see, I literally just woke up, ran into the studio, and I was like, hey, I got to film something for the nation. So hopefully, it's an A-plus grade on this video. So what do you all think here? Grade the trade. If you think it's an A, type A in the comment section. Tell me why. B, C, D, or F. Let me know your thoughts on the Raiders sending a 2021 fourth round pick to the Miami Dolphins in exchange for linebacker Raekwon McMillan and a 2021 fifth round pick. Let's now talk about some of these numbers here because Mick Millen, the past two seasons, played in 16 games in 2018, played in 13 games in 2019. Now, as soon as this deal went down, I'm sure all of you were like, hmm, how is he going to be able to fit on this Raiders depth chart? You go out, you already have Corey Littleton, who the Raiders signed for three years, $36 million is one of the best coverage linebackers in the National Football League. You also made a big splash in free agency by going out and getting Nick Kwiatkowski, who you signed to a three-year deal, $21 million. Littleton, great at coverage. Kwiatkowski, on the other hand, he's not as good in coverage, can still do it, an up-and-coming young player, but can get after the quarterback. Now you have Raekwon McMillan. McMillan is more of a player who's going to be that solid run stopper. Over 100 tackles in 2018. 21972 was on pace for about 90 tackles before he went down with a hamstring injury that did put him on IR. But overall, you're seeing a player here who is going to be able to add some depth to a defense that at the linebacker position, since I've been alive at least, if y'all want to throw your age in the comments section, go for it. Since I've been alive, the Raiders have really, really struggled at that linebacker position. What I'm really curious about is how many downs does he play? Because if I'm the Raiders, if I'm Paul Gunther, I put him on the field when there's run situations. Because in coverage, this is where McMillan really, really struggles. I'm going to throw out a name that some Raider fans might remember. Tahir Whitehead. Tahir Whitehead was solid in the run, struggled in coverage. That's what McMillan does remind me of. Last season, in 2019, McMillan gave up a passer rating of 118. That is not good whatsoever. So McMillan, he comes over to the team. I'm going to be curious on how this impacts Nicholas Morrow, Javen White, Tanner Muse, also Kyle Emanuel. We're going to be able to see a lot of these other linebacker positions. I promise you, if you haven't hit that sub button yet, make sure you do. I'm going to be keeping you updated on the Las Vegas Raiders and how this is going to impact our team this season. This is why the Raiders moved on from him was because he wasn't that versatile. That is my only worry here 
with McMillan. The only difference between Whitehead and McMillan is, well, McMillan's only 24 years old. He does come probably at a lot cheaper of a contract. As soon as those contract details come out, I promise you, we're going to keep you updated on it. But I'm really curious on how this is going to impact linebackers like a Nicholas Morrow, how this is going to impact linebackers like a Tanner Muse, a Javen White, or, you know, the Raiders have also made some recent moves in some days where Kyle Emanuel as well has come to this team. You can see the Raiders are really trying to just build this team, build this core. You have two solid linebackers in Corey Littleton and Nick Wachowski. You're just adding more depth here with McMillan. So the fact that McMillan got traded, I don't know. I'm going to say woke. And the reason why is because I woke up to the news that the Raiders went out and traded for Raekwon. So here at the Raiders Report, if you haven't already, I want you to click that big red button that says subscribe. We do live videos all the time, especially for breaking news. We also go live every Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Pacific. So I would imagine that a lot of Raider fans, when they see this video, y'all, I know how y'all run, right? Like, you guys are going to be at the bar. You're going to be just waking up. You're like, oh, shit, this just went down. So let me know your one-word reaction to the Raiders going out and trading for Raekwon McMillan. As soon as this deal went down, I got really, really hyped. And you know what? My mentality, it is always Raiders against the world and I do want to give a shout out to my man Tom if it wasn't for Tom this video wouldn't be possible so Raiders against the world shirt if you want it all you got to do is go to chatsports.com slash Raiders world okay chatsports.com slash Raiders world the t-shirt that you see on screen it is on sale it is only $19.99 that deal will end today so if you like that shirt if you know it's Raiders against everyone else, I got a buddy. Every single stadium that he sees, he flips them off. Obviously, I can't do that on YouTube. But if you're like, hey, it's Raiders to the, to the day I die, go get this shirt, jatsports.com slash Raiders World. I'll put it in the comments, and I'll put the link in the description. So they get a 2021 fourth round pick. Major, major shout out to the nation. This is a really solid move. And one more time, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button. If you ever want to hit me up on Instagram, if you ever want to hit me up on Twitter, I am at MitchellRens365. I like to talk Raiders. Heck, I might even be doing an IG Live this weekend. If you want to do the IG Live with me, you know where to find me. And we will be doing more videos throughout the week. We try to keep you guys up to date with daily videos here around your Las Vegas Raiders. But again, the breaking news here that the Raiders have gone out and traded for linebacker Raquan McMillan. He is getting ready to enter his fourth year in the NFL. If you look at his past two seasons, a solid player overall. He's going to be able to bring a lot more depth to this team. He's also going to be able to help at a linebacker position because since I've been alive, the Raiders haven't had a very good linebacking group. He's not going to take anything away from Littleton or Kukowski. He is, though, however, going to challenge players like a Nicholas Morrow. He is going to challenge players for playing time like a guy like Javen White if he makes the final roster. I am curious now with this move what that means for some other players like the rookie Tanner Muse, who the Raiders went out and drafted in the third round, 100 overall. Do like the trade for Raekwon McMillan. I want you to like the video right now because, again, McMillan to this Las Vegas Raiders team in exchange for a 2021 fourth-round pick. An overall great, great move for Mike Mayock. An overall great move for John Gruden. And I would imagine that every single Raider fan that watching this video right now is very happy. I'm getting ready to go. Appreciate you. Going to get back to my weekend. Like I said, woke up on my off day, strolled in here to the studio. Let me know what y'all think of this trade. And if you haven't already, drop a like and subscribe to the Las Vegas Raiders Report. That's the link that you see below. It's also the big red button, youtube.com slash Raiders Report. Raider Nation, what's going on? Is this the number one Raiders channel on YouTube? For Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. And if you haven't already, subscribe right here. I'm giving you Chucky Heads news, rumors, Raider Nation rumors. And look at this, I'm making your life easier. Check out my next video. Thanks for watching, and go Raiders.